We've all driven on roads like these. Roads so rough they make drivers slow down to save their tires and avoid downtime. There are two main causes of pavement deterioration. One is weather. All pavements break down due to water infiltration and freeze-thaw cycles. The other major cause of pavement deterioration is heavy truck traffic. Ironically, the trucks that we depend on to deliver almost everything we need are also constantly consuming our pavements. In comparison, cars are much less of a problem. It takes thousands of cars passing over a road to equal the damage done by just one pass of a legally loaded 18-wheeler. Unfortunately, road conditions in Minnesota are getting worse. A 2010 report from the Minnesota DOT predicted that if investment levels remain as they are, we'll see a three-fold increase in pavement deterioration in the next decade. Because our pavements are constantly wearing out, we respond with maintenance and rehabilitation. But the costs of the labor, equipment, and materials needed to do that maintenance and rehabilitation continue to increase while budgets haven't kept pace. In response, Minnesota cities and counties need a cost-effective approach to managing our vital infrastructure, and that's pavement management. Pavement management can help to leverage our limited resources. Pavement management is a way of applying fact-based decision-making to an agency's entire roadway network. It's important to say what pavement management can do and what it can't do. Simply put, pavement management provides the information needed to make good decisions. It's a tool that can monitor how pavement segments age and deteriorate, and it can help to predict the effects of alternative courses of action. With that kind of information, officials can make fact-based decisions. But pavement management systems cannot make those decisions for a city or county. Each agency needs to develop its own pavement maintenance policies that will yield the best return on investment. Counties and cities in Minnesota are doing pavement management in many ways. Some use commercial computer software, while others develop their own methods. Pavement management can be effective all the way from a three-ring binder notebook to the most sophisticated software. The goal is to assemble the data that you need to make decisions. Why we didn't use a commercial software was mainly due to uh, cost and the time it would take to set that up, the learning curve to put it together. The commercial software lets us do a lot of things and I guess we weren't really looking to, to do all that with this system. Um, we really wanted to just get a handle on what the condition of our roads were and kind of manually go through it. As you move up the ladder in sophistication, uh, you might go to some sort of database software that not only would be able to store, but also be able to plot or map the information. And then at the top end is uh, the type of software that we use at the DOT, uh, which has sophisticated prediction capabilities. So you not only know the current condition, but you can predict what the future will hold and then you can establish budgets, show the impact of certain programs and that sort of thing. The red line shows what would be a typical natural deterioration of pavement. And it, it has a finite life cycle to it through weathering and freeze thaw cycles and traffic and uh, rainfall events. And so if you don't do anything to pavement, it is just naturally gonna deteriorate and start to fall apart. The blue line shows what would happen if you did intermediate steps. So maybe you would do some preventive maintenance activities while the road's in good condition, uh, do an overlay once it reaches a fair or close to poor condition, and then you could repeat that several times throughout the life of the road. If you do the right fix at the right time, uh, then you not only can increase the overall service life of the road, but many times you can reduce the overall life cycle cost as well. Information like that is useful in three important ways. First, it can show which maintenance procedures are delivering the best return on investment. Second, it can be used to decide where and when to use those procedures within a system-wide strategy. And third, it provides useful data when it's time to make recommendations to the elected officials and the public. To maintain our roads at the, the level the county board set, uh, we use a 1 to 100 scale. In Washington County, our goal is our roads never fall below a 72 on a system average. This should be a road that Washington County wants to provide to its residents. How this data is used is it's part of the county's performance measurement report. And so we show them that this is our current system, it's above 72, 
And we also show that with the projected budget that they're going to allocate the roads, it'll stay above 72. And so by making investments at the right time in your roads, you will save money in the long run. And we've proven that. Using a pavement management program uh, allows us to use the limited resources that we have the best. And we've learned, it's been proven to us, that if we wait for things to break and fall apart, they're much more costly to replace than if we put a little bit into it um, during its life cycle. In a city like Shoreby, we have about 100 miles of roadways that we're responsible for. And we're uh, maintaining those roadways with a relatively small number of people. And we need to have the ability to gather and store a lot of data and uh, process it and, and to, to help us make decisions about maintenance strategies and future construction projects. Agencies that use pavement management gather basic facts such as pavement condition, traffic volume, and construction and maintenance history. Beyond those essentials, many agencies also record data on other assets. There is also a range of methods for collecting the information. The staff actually walks our, our streets every year to assess the uh, condition of our, our pavement in the city. Uh, we have an inventory of uh, the condition of uh, every street in the city, when it's likely to need uh, both maintenance and eventual reconstruction. And as a result, we're able to do a much better job of planning uh, our street maintenance work, spread it out uh, evenly over time, and uh, reduce the cost to the taxpayers. The City of Roseville has had such great success in our pavement management software that we've extended the same inventory and the same sort of infrastructure management to a number of other areas in the city. So we actually implemented a trail management program, um, putting aside funding for replacement, doing inventories, and looking at doing a systemic approach at doing maintenance on them as well. For us in Olmstead County, the collection of the information and the data is by far, you know, the most labor intensive. On a yearly basis, we go out and we do a windshield survey, and during that survey we collect information on, on cracks, rideability, we also include in the database pavement markings, um, the condition of our shoulder, a few other things. We're slowly adding more and more pavement history and surfacing history to our database, which just enhances that amount of information we can get out of it. Another important source of pavement condition information for Minnesota counties is the DOT. On a four-year cycle, MnDOT sends its pavement management vans out to record information about county roads and provides that information to the counties. The really great thing that we have now is with state aid and MnDOT providing the data to us. We can take that and import it into databases and uh, sort the roads by condition and decide what projects we're going to do. And then that data is also available to go directly into a GIS so we can now map all the different pavement data and look at it. As we've seen, pavement management is helping cities and counties throughout Minnesota. Agencies are making decisions based on the system-wide view that pavement management gives them. They're making decisions based on facts. Any city or county can benefit from pavement management. Each agency can decide how to collect and manage its information. And once the agency has that information, it helps them develop a long-term pavement maintenance program. Pavement management also helps when it's time to justify maintenance funding. And agencies across our state have seen that pavement management increases the return their infrastructure investments. From my experience early on, it was important to gain the support of elected officials, the decision makers that ultimately control the budget funds. And using pavement management was a, was a great tool to get to that point. What we've learned from uh, our implementation of pavement management in Bloomington is that if we uh, do a good job of, of planning, do the maintenance uh, at the right time, uh, and do the preventative maintenance at the right time, uh, that we're able to have a, a better street system with uh, far fewer miles of streets in uh, uh, subpar condition, and at the same time save the taxpayers millions of dollars over the long run. We have been able to demonstrate really to the other city staff uh, to elected officials the necessity of, of maintaining our streets routinely. We've been able to grow our maintenance budget virtually every year since 2001 because we can demonstrate the positive effects that pavement management has on stretching out the lives of the, the street. Pavement management is definitely a good thing for our budget. You know, there's no doubt it costs money 
you know, there's always a saying that good roads cost money, bad roads cost more. It's a program that lets the policymakers decide what the quality of life they want to have for their community, and, that, and that's their job. My job is to provide that quality of service and that quality of life in the most economical manner that I can. And this is a tool that helps us do that.